welcome to the video greetings hope you have a great day if it is your first time on this channel um, this channel is all about SAP related tutorials uh, SAP training SAP uh, related videos um, in this channel uh, uh, the videos are available in two languages actually three languages English Urdu Hindi uh, and if you're interested on SAP related video, please like and subscribe. Uh, this video is about what is SAP um, order allocation and some related topics to the before we understand the basics, uh, what is allocation and uh, how MRP work, how availability check work. So and uh, how sales order allocation works and is uh, to make it easy, we, we uh, this video is uh, I'll cover from the perspective of the end user but that's also covered from the other perspectives as well because uh, that's how things function for this standpoint so a little bit about me uh, my name is Sayyid Abbas Rizvi I've been working in SAP for quite some time I have written some SAP books and uh, I have written end user uh, books uh, SAP consultant business analyst uh, so the link of my profile will be available on the on youtube description that is available for anybody to look at it or if you like some books please go ahead and buy them <laughs> uh, so let's uh, talk about uh, what is sap sales order allocation or what is sap order atp A atp stand for availability uh, available to promise mrp stand for material requirement planning and ac stand for availability check so let's take a look at what is mrp so mrp stands for material requirement planning uh, so when we talk up talk about mrp that is mean that we are talking about inventory that how uh, uh, when order come in how the requirements are generated from the order and how it's getting fulfilled how order is getting scheduling a schedule in on the order and how it's getting uh, procured and uh, what scheduling has been done for the order so if it is order is created then it's uh, scheduling the purchasing uh, purchase acquisition procurement related activities if it is uh, making a product or if it is from the stock uh, so that uh, all uh, is part of MRP uh, production planning and uh, that is another area where MRP works uh, and also uh, MRP in, uh, also cover manufacturing so for example if company know that they are getting uh, 10,000 uh, bicycle order so they need to procure uh, so many components and uh, all of those requirements need to be considered to have uh, availability date based on the requirement date so so that is uh, MRP and uh, so let's talk about um, SAP so in SAP we can see that material master uh, MRP view so MRP is divided into the uh, four views uh, we can see that MRP one view up here we can see that uh, general data MRP uh, procedure lot size and all of those uh, things uh, affect um, sales order procurement and uh, different so for example purchasing group we know that so for each component level we can see that uh, if it is a raw material where it's going to be purchasing from purchase from so all of those details are covered in this uh, and uh, let's take a look at the two example make to order or stock to order so make to order when we have sub components are getting ordered um, uh, for the bicycle so if we are ordering wheels we are ordering handles break uh, all different components so that is considered make to order that is getting uh, assembled in the, the assembly and production so and stock to order when uh, we have a, a final product or finished good is ready and if that is getting order and then how uh, MRP is getting calculated based on that so uh, these are two different scenarios and uh, maybe different companies might have different scenarios as well so this are just general scenarios so scheduling of a stock so when somebody place an order is either in SAP is a backward scheduling or forward scheduling backward scheduling is mean that um, when uh, it's calculating all processing times for example if it is picking packing uh, how much time is going to take in warehouse 
how much is going to take take a time for a transfer order from uh, picking and uh, uh, and then how is, uh, how much time is going to be shipped from the uh, point a to point b so all of those time get calculated and based on the customer requested date uh, the final uh, confirmation date will populate into the order so that is like a backward uh, and forward scheduling when the stock is uh, uh, is not available and if it is uh, system is calculating when we are going to get from procurement and from that time when we are going to ship it to the customer so that is uh, calculating based on that so this is just uh, some scenarios uh, in any system uh, allocation and uh, available uh, available to promise configuration will be different based on the industry and based on the configuration or setup in the system so that is uh, one thing uh, and then uh, make to order uh, so it and so this is just example that uh, in make to order we can go on sub component level and then and those component we can see that how much time is going to be taking so or some so based on the company if they want to calculate or they want to estimate and they goes goes by the detail level and detail level of information so every company is different and uh, every system is configured different so that is all depends on that so um, and then also it could be uh, so in, in available to promise there the times could be depend on the procurement activities lead times uh, warehouse transaction uh, loading time uh, all sorts of different things can be activated and can be implemented for any system so uh, so based on the uh, system those times can calculated and uh, and then when the somebody place an order they have requested delivery date and system by default as per the setup calculate the time and then uh, and then uh, give a confirmation date based on the scenario and if it is make to order if it is a stock to order uh, those are just a few examples so thank you very much for the watching please like and subscribe the video and uh, uh, any questions and feedback please uh, leave them in the comment thank you very much